cool man, I'm in like a supernatural mm. show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone with a wind machine. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, I, like, yeah, it's a lot of like uh, leaf blowers. Yeah. I had so many leaf blowers. Oh my god, I was on this job. Yeah. <laughs> We've been watching you. Hi, cousin. We want to understand you. <laughs> What drew me to this project? I love um, genre, which is vampires, anything like that. Um, I really wanted to write a genre piece because we don't do it a lot in the UK. Yeah, when I was talking to Dancing Ledge about potential ideas, I thought there's a way of tapping into the witch genre, but also the dating world as well. Uh, I guess for me, yeah, I've, I've never done anything like this in terms of the, this, the genre of the show. I feel like, like Lauren said, it's, it's needed. And I just really wanted to be a part of something like this. And then it also just, my character exploring that journey with Domino. Um, I just wanted to see what we could do there. Silas is not a, not a good, good person. <laughs> he chooses power over love sort of every single time. And I think that can just get you in such trouble. And if I can perform a character where people can look at it and realize maybe they're making the same decision as Silas is. And then by seeing that go, oh, actually, I don't know if I want to be doing that anymore. Maybe I want to choose connection over the new job that I need or something. Then something good has come from it. I, when I first read the script, I felt so much empathy for Domino and the situation that she was in. I felt like it was such a human situation that she was in. Even if you take out all the supernatural stuff, and it's still so complicated. And I thought that Lauren had written a really, really complicated, conflicting character of someone who's extremely powerful and dangerous, but also deeply lonely and and insecure and seeking a community and and confused and I loved that all of that was all in one person and I just really wanted to look after Domino so I really wanted to play her so that I could look after her. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn? That you're doing something to humans. <laughs> but, but you don't want to be. I mean, I'm a big True Blood fan. Um, I love um, how it's like a grounded genre show and it was looked at like segregation and, and things like that. So True Blood, also the vampiric elements that Domino has as well as the witch that she is. Charmed, Buffy, you know, all, all the sort of usual genre pieces, but all American. So mm -hmm. there was obviously a discovery of witches, which I, I binged, um, but I feel like this is a lot different to that. It's, uh, it's more chaotic, I think. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's a bit dark and sexy, which, you know, other shows just, they just focus on the genre elements of like magic, but this is like so many layers to it. How long have you been single? A while. Wow. <laughs> it's a scene to film. I mean, you got two sex scenes with that. <laughs> so it's quite a big question. <laughs> I think the first day of filming actually was where we, I filmed my first, it was um, the start of episode two with me and you, in fact, in that. Oh, in, the in smoothie. My, yeah, yeah, it's movie, yeah. Just those scenes, it, it was so nice to just, play around with and because I guess the process for me was quite quick I had got the role I think a couple of weeks before filming so it was just doing as, as much work as we could obviously prep and be ready for, for filming but I think once we got on set it was nice to just you know have fun enjoy it and I think we was finding like some nice bits bits and pieces but also I'd say just I guess the little bit of rivalry between uh, mm. uh, yeah, Leon and <laughs> I really enjoyed doing wire work so, yeah. Okay. The, the wire work was really fun. And then actually, one of the scenes, yeah. when we first meet, spells happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And when that we were filming really that, that cool. was the first time that I was like, oh, cool, man, I'm in like a supernatural mm. show. Yeah. <laughs> Someone with a wind machine. Like, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of like uh, leaf blowers. Yeah. I had so many leaf blowers. <laughs> oh my God, I was on this job. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite scene, Sam? Uh, again, can't get too much away, but there's something that happened with some sort of practical effects, some sort of mm -hmm. practical effects in the in the car park. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah! Oh, that was really good. That was really cool. It's like when you see, it's hard to say the key word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Actually. Yeah. That was really. Fun. That was cool. <laughs> 
like a kid on Christmas, that one. <laughs> <laughs> The first 10 minutes, when I first thought of the idea, those 10 minutes were really clear in my head. Yeah. You know, it takes a few years to make a TV show. So the, the first time I saw those rushes, I was like, wow, it's, it's real. And exactly how I imagined it. I want the audience to have a fun ride. The twists and turns in this series, I want them to be like, oh my gosh. But yeah, also those deep layers in, in the show, community, sisterhood, connecting with people and just having the courage to connect with others when you don't feel like you've got your own life together, I think is a powerful message I hope people read in the show.